it is Wednesday. <coughs> oh, I just sprayed perfume and it's like in my mouth. Today I'm going to be vlogging again. I've just done my hair and makeup for the day. My hair is so greasy. I need to put even more dry shampoo in it. Um, but I'm, I'm liking my makeup today. I'm so happy because my eyes are looking better. My lips are feeling better. So I can enjoy wearing makeup again. Obviously being careful. Actually, talking about being careful. I just tried a new mascara from La Roche-Posay, which is allergy tested. I wouldn't say it was like the best mascara ever, but very interesting if you have like sensitive eye areas. Um, that's very cool, I think. Let me know if you guys would like me to do like a makeup video um, for my next video. I, I really want to. I want to show you kind of the makeup that I've been using at the moment. Um, but I find that when I do just makeup videos, they don't get very good views, which I don't mind, but it kind of implies that you guys don't enjoy them. So maybe I could just do it within a vlog or something like that. Let me know what you would prefer. But yeah, quite like glowy skin. I've been mixing together some glowy products for the base. I think it looks nice. We'll see when I go outside into the sunshine. I think today is the last sunny day. We've we've had a few sunny days, which although is very strange and slightly worrying for February, it's been really enjoyable, I'm not gonna lie, just to be honest. It's so nice after a long winter just to have a bit of sun. It's, like in London, it just changes everyone's mood. Everyone is so much happier. Obviously, this is the first time we've had a garden, so it's just nice to sit outside and get some fresh air. It's my perfect weather, really, because it's not hot. It's just sunny and you can wear a t-shirt. Um, I, I don't really like London when it's really hot, but it's just rain is so annoying. Anyway, it's been really nice. I think today's kind of the last day of the sun, um, and then it's going to be raining again. But I've got a full-on day in town today. I've actually I've got one meeting at 12 um, with the PR for NARS and Laura Mercier and Anna's coming to that as well. And that'll be really nice. And then, so I've kind of worked stuff around that, so... I'm going to go into Gleam, I'm going to check my PO box, catch up with them. Me and Anna are working on a little project together, so we need to sit and have like a brainstorm and planning session. Haven't seen her for a while, so that'd be really nice too. And I'm also going to pop into the maid.com showroom because me and Rich have been looking for a dining table. We've been like trying to buy some of the last big pieces that we really need because we know that once the baby comes, we're just not going to be thinking about that. And I don't want to kind of rush buy something and regret it because they're kind of big items. So yesterday I ordered a garden sofa from John Lewis, a brand called Kettler, so that's really exciting, um, and that'll be coming soon so that when it is nice weather, I can go outside, sit out there with a baby, that'll be nice, and yeah, we want a new dining table, which is such a big commitment, I feel like, and really difficult to figure out what I want. I've been looking at different, like, um, worktops for dining tables. I don't really want wood because I feel like there's so much wood going on in my kitchen area like the kitchen cupboards are wood the floors wood it's too much wood I don't really want glass like I, my parents have a glass table and I find it just so hard it's like you have to clean it a lot and I don't like being able to see the, the legs under the table and I don't know I just feel like with kids it's a bit smashy we wanted concrete but concrete is very porous and it's quite hard to find a concrete that's like sealed. Uh, what other workshops? We looked at a zinc one, but apparently that shows loads of fingerprints and greasy marks. We wanted something that was durable, so when kids are eating on it, spilling drinks, drawing and felt tip, it's not going to ruin it. But we wanted something that looks good as well. And actually, we found one on Made.com, which has got like black metal legs and it's concrete top, but it's concrete resin. So I think that that means it's been sealed. And it's like stain proof and stuff. I'm going to go into the showroom. I phoned ahead and asked if they had it in there. And they said they did. So I'm going to go and ask them loads of questions. And maybe see if I can like put a glass of water down or something. Because it's a big commitment. So I think we'll get a dining table and a bench to go on like the wall side. And then chairs on the other side. I have no idea what chairs yet. I don't even know how to start thinking about that. But these things take a long time to come. Especially with made.com. I feel like things take a really long time to arrive. So I want to kind of get going with it. It is Wednesday today, so my pregnancy app has updated. Uh, baby is the size of a cantaloupe melon. Is that what it's called? Cantaloupe? Yeah, like a melon. Oof. I think from now on, she starts growing like quite rapidly. And yeah, I've been feeling interesting. Like, third trimester, I, I put on my Instagram, like, third trimester is no joke. Um, people warn you, but you're never quite ready. And even now, I'm not even at the end bit yet which I think is the worst um positives are I'm very excited we've been sorting out the room we've been doing washing and folding cute little baby grows and I just can't wait to meet her and it's it's really nice and people now that I'm like visibly pregnant people are in the streets or strangers kind of comment and it makes it feel really real so that's really nice um 
but I have been like struggling as well with a few like dodgy symptoms obviously my ribs still hurts when I sleep my left leg is just in agony like I have to wake up a few times in the night just to like stretch out my leg because it's so sore and um, this week I've also got carpal tunnel syndrome which is like I don't know I basically just feel like one massive trapped nerve like my thumb and my index finger are killing me um not all the time but when I'm sitting down for a long period of time if I like grab something it really hurts so that's really annoying because that's my right hand, my dominant hand. I think that's really common in pregnancy and you can get like splints, but my sister said they didn't work for her. All the pregnancy symptoms, I think I'm now, I think the third trimester you start to feel a little bit like a human incubator, <laughs> which is fine. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head downstairs and make myself some breakfast. I think I'm gonna quickly take an Instagram because I wanna update you guys. I try to update you guys on Instagram like every two weeks on a Wednesday if I can on pregnancy stuff. That seems to be like a pattern. Um, and you guys always really like those, so I'm just gonna keep going with it. Must remember my sunglasses. I love that I can wear sunglasses at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna transfer into a bigger bag. Tripod. Will I need tripod? I don't think I need tripod, actually. Um, let's get everything out of here. Oh, God. Making such a mess. Sunglasses. Very exciting. Uh, keys. Purse, other purse. I'm also throwing in a little mirror, my eight hour cream, and the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips in Pillow Talk. This is like the more glossy version. Oh, someone just messaged me. My breakfast is still as exciting as ever. Bagel with peanut butter, not even healthy peanut butter, and a glass of water. <laughs> I'm in town and I'm quickly going to pop into H&M because I want to get some cool hair bands. They have really nice hair bands that I feel like I want to give a go. I haven't found the nice pattern one that I was looking for. I found a yellow and a black. I'm just going to head upstairs and see if there's any more up here. I found so many nice ones. I'll show you them properly in a minute. Oh my god, what a glorious day. Um, I'm now going to head into Topshop Maternity because I just like to have a look when I'm in town. It's the only place that feels like the clothes are still me but just in maternity. So. Quick look. I'm just trying on this like waterproof coat um, from Uniqlo. I really want something that's light for when it's warmer, that has a hood, especially when I have a baby and I'm pushing a buggy and can't hold an umbrella. Um, and I just think it's quite cool to get something in camel because then it looks kind of like you're wearing a trench coat. I quite like this. Can't really decide. I don't know how much it is. 50 pounds. I've just popped into the Gleam office. Um, I eventually got here, walking very slow, and I'm just going through my PO box. Me and Anne have just been sitting and chatting about our project thing, which I think is gonna be later in the year, so don't get too excited. But um, I'll show you some bits from my PO box. Anne is sitting on the air con. It's really cold. <laughs> it's so nice, it's so warm today. Air con up your bum. Um, these are new from Bare Minerals. They're the Bare Pro Longwear Lipstick, and I love the Bare Pro Concealer. It pretty much is exactly the same packaging, so I'm going to pick out some shades which I think will suit me and try them when I get home. Um, I have to show you guys when I get home because I've already put them away, but I got sent some really cute baby blankets and like swaddles, lots of baby stuff, and also a load of baking stuff from Lakeland, which is cool, including Bees Wrap, which I really wanted to try as a cling film alternative, and cute little like cookie cutters, baby shower stuff. Okay, we're now heading to the Charlotte Street Hotel. We're going to meet the NARS and the Laura Mercier PR. Have some lunch, catch up. You haven't been on my vlog for a while. Wait, is it a green man? I'm so no. hungry. You need to be careful. I don't cross the road now unless no, it's a green man. No, I was going to say no. You've got like two thing. people to think about. I know. So. I it's, feel green like, man. Yeah, it's green man. I literally feel, feel like I'm walking around with like Rich's prized possession. That's how it feels. <laughs> um, it's both of your prized possession. I know, but I feel like extra responsible because it's like his too. Um, Guys, do you think she's going to have curly hair or straight hair? Is she going to have blue eyes? Well, you won't Brown know eyes. all these things. I feel like you don't know at the beginning because all babies are born with blue eyes. Yeah. And then hair. Like, she might not have hair for like a year and a half. Oh, I don't know. I think she's going to be quite hairy. Like, it, like some babies are born with really dark hair and then it changes. I can't wait to meet her, <laughs> honestly. Like, when I think, sometimes I lay in bed and I'm like, what, what's Lily Rich's baby going to look like? What's she going to be like? Is she going to be a blogger? She's going to be very sarcastic. That's Is she sure. going to be into boot camp? <laughs> Like rich. Oh yeah. I have just so many options. Oh my gosh. Right, let's go have lunch. I'm starving. I'm now gonna head
head into the made.com showroom and have a look at the table that I've been eyeing up online. This is the table, really like the legs. And then look at the top, it's kind of like a dark gray. It looks like concrete, but actually I'm gonna ask them, it feels really durable. Like you wouldn't scratch it or leave any watermarks. Also they have these chairs that go with it, which I quite like, but I think we could probably get smaller ones to squeeze in more people. I really like this table. I think it's gonna work actually. corners are slightly rounded which I like. That was so nice the lady who worked in made.com actually watched my videos um, she was really helpful. I love it. Definitely think I'm gonna get it and a matching bench. Um, I didn't really like any of the chairs in there though so we might look somewhere else for chairs. Um, but yeah I'm so happy you found a dining room table or dining table. Okay I am back home. Oh my god my throat is so dry and weird today. Um, the tube was packed but I made it home. Oh my god, wait, I need to like, can I just, yeah, can I put you there? Is that okay? Um, it's six o'clock. I want to show you stuff in my PO box and things that I bought and stuff. I can't really remember what I vlogged today and what I haven't. But I need to make dinner because we have, I can't vlog like this, this is silly, isn't it? One minute. Just... What about like, can you, can you rest? Yeah. I just got myself like a hot Ribena. Me help my throat. We've got NCT tonight, um, our second session, and it starts at seven. So I need to make us like a quick dinner. I don't know why I'm doing this. Rich would be annoyed if he knew, but um, I'm going to make like an aubergine tomato couscous thing because that's quite quick. Um, but before I do, I wanted to quickly catch up with you guys. NCT second session tonight. Um, it was interesting. I don't. I, I haven't. I can't form an opinion yet because we only had one. Um, so. I don't know, it was a bit cringe. I don't know if I'm gonna like make proper friends or not, but I quite enjoyed it. Um, I think I need to like pipe down a bit this week, which was like, Lily, you were like way too like keen to answer questions. And I think it's just because I was overcompensating because so many people were just like sitting there crossed armed quiet. And I find it so awkward for the teacher. The teacher's lovely, I really like her. So I was like trying to like answer some of the things that she was like asking. Um, but I think this week I need to like let other people do some talking. That was basically me at school. So yeah, I need to not be like that. Okay, I'm gonna make dinner and drink my hot Robina. Okay, I've got aubergine, red onion, garlic, uh, chopped tomatoes and cumin and cinnamon. That's basically all I need. And then we need to just do some couscous. Guys, this is why I can't get away with wearing my like old normal t-shirts. It looks great like this. And then I like go to do my hair and <laughs> that happens. Oh dear. An Amazon parcel just arrived and I was like, what is this? And then I just realised it's one of my like hilarious post baby things that I've ordered. Look, it's like squeezy, so you like squirt water. Apparently when you like pee, it really, really stings after. I mean, as I've said before, I don't even know what sort of delivery I'm gonna have, but why not have these things just in case? And you can like squirt it. And it's good for cleaning yourself. I mean, I've just realised that we have a toilet that cleans us. Yeah. But maybe it's too strong, I don't know. Funny, funny. I mean, not funny, terrifying, but handy. Easiest dinner ever, and it's so delicious. I'm just gonna give it a little mix up. Actually, what I've decided to do is I'm gonna finish the vlog here, but carry on in the morning and show you guys the stuff in my PO box then when it's brighter and I can swatch things. So I'll chat to you in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning. Excuse the stripped bed. We're washing the sheets and also just oh i'm having one of those days greasy hair need to wash it um and just i've got such a tickly throat i can't really tell if i'm ill or if it's early hay fever very confusing but obviously there's like nothing i can take so it's a little bit frustrating <sighs> anyway i wanted to finish off this vlog and show you guys some of the things i got sent and bought um, I bought that Uniqlo jacket actually and I'm really, it's now started to rain so I'm happy I bought that. I think it's going to be a really good thing to have. Um, and then from H&M, I don't think I really showed you. Did I show you all the hairbands? I don't know. I mean I went all out. My manager Millie was laughing at me because she's like I love how you like don't buy one but you buy like six. Um, but I just think they're really cute. I don't even know if they really suit me but I've got a two pack which is like this little black one and a little yellow one, which are really nice. And then I got some of the more extravagant ones. So this like orange one. So it's a little scrunchy with a long hangy bit. This kind of pinky patterned one, which is a bit more silky. And 
a polka dot one. I just thought they'll be nice maybe in the summer as well. And also I got this from Oliver Bonus, which I thought was cool. It's more of like a headband. I mean, it's not going to look good to my hair up, but it did look nice when I tried it with my hair down. Something a little bit different. As I said, can't really buy clothes at the moment, so that satisfied my shopping need. I got sent these really, really gorgeous baby blankets and bibs from a brand I've never heard of before called Must... Must Hud? Must Hud. Um, I'll link them down below. But the bibs look like this. They're really, really soft and I love this like beaded detail around the edge. And then she sent me, they sent me two like of the kind of blankety like large muslins as well. So they're white on one side and then coloured and then they've got this really lovely like edging. I just think these are so, so nice. Really different to anything I've seen before. They'd make a really, really gorgeous gift. So I'm really chuffed with those, thank you. And I also got sent from... The Little Blue Nest, 100% uh, organic cotton muslin, um, like a swaddling blanket. I love these, I can't stop buying them. I've definitely got too many muslins now, but they're just so nice. And I I've heard from people that you can't really have too many muslins. I wanna do like a baby haul video, but also show you the stuff that, some of the stuff I've been sent as well. So like a baby haul and new in. Um, I don't really like, whoa, what was that? So I might do that for you guys. I've kind of washed everything and put it away now, which was silly because it's kind of, it's not like a haul showing you out of a bag, but I might pick out some pieces and do a video ooh, for you guys. So let me know if you want to see that. What else have I got in here? These, which I've already been out and bought myself because I saw Ruth did a video on them and they looked amazing, um, but they actually sent me some too. It's from Indeed Labs. It's the Bakuchoil I don't know how to say that, the reface pads. It's basically a gentle alternative to retinol. They're little pre-soaked pads. I can't use retinol at the moment because I'm pregnant, obviously. So these are a great alternative and I've been loving them. So I'm excited to have like a backup now. And I got sent some lipsticks from Bare Minerals. I got sent about 50 lipsticks, but I just took the shades that I thought would suit me. Very much into like nude lipsticks. Um, they're in the same packaging as the concealer that I love. So I'm very excited to try those. I'll let you know how I get on, I'm sure. What else have I got? NARS have some really nice new stuff. Let me just like shuffle forward. So this is part of their exposed collection, which is available from the 15th of March. And in there is a blush palette, which is so pretty. Look at this packaging. So cool. And then if you open it up, really pretty shades with this really cool finish and interesting like powder texture. I probably wouldn't use these two shades, but the other four look really nice. So I'm definitely gonna give that a go. I obviously love NARS products. And then part of their Wonderlux collection, which is also available in March, is this like bronzer blusher highlighter. I love when they do these, oops. That looks really nice as well. And the thing I'm most excited for, Oh, they've now brought out coloured versions of their lip balm, their Afterglow lip balm. So they, I think they had like an orgasm one, they've got a clear one, and now they've got coloured ones as well. Um, let me show you. So the packaging is like this, mirrored, and then coloured balm, which is right up my street. I like very easy lip products. Um, I'm not into like heavy liquid lips or anything like that anymore. So very excited to give those a go as well. And I will let you know, there's no point in kind of telling you in this video, I'll give them a go, let you know how I get on. I don't think there's much else to show you. <coughs> I'm gonna sign out of this video because I've got such a tickly throat and a snotty nose. Ah, feeling so moany today, I'm sorry to end the video like this. Let me know if you want in my next video for me to do more of like a beauty makeup thing, trying new products. Uh, if you want me to integrate that into a vlog or just do like a beauty video by itself. Let me know what you would prefer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.